back to show you all how easy it is to make egg salad taste delicious. This recipe is super simple. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make it Gina Young style, you're going to love this ingredients recipe. Ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some boiled eggs, of course. We have some beautiful boiled eggs and we have some potato bread here because we're going to turn this into a sandwich. I have some gorgeous butter lettuce, a nice beautiful tomato, and we have some mayonnaise. Um, we have some mustard, salt and pepper, and a little bit of sugar. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing recipe. Jenny Young found out out is how to boil the perfect egg is. I'll put my eggs into cold water with a tiny bit of vinegar. And once they begin to boil, I count 10 to 12 minutes after that. And then I turn my eggs off and then I take the eggs and put them into cold water. And the cold water helps me to peel them with no issues. There's probably a lot of you that struggle with peeling the boiled eggs like I do. When I dip it into the cold water, it always works for me. So let's get started. I have my eggs nice and peeled. We're gonna break them down in such a manner. So I'm just going to cut my eggs and then we'll take a potato masher to make it even finer. When I have a egg salad, I don't want big uh, of the white piece. I don't want big chunks of that in my egg salad. I want all the pieces of egg to be nice and fine, just like so. How many of you grew up on egg salad like I did? It was, a, it was a big treat when my dad would make egg salad for breakfast. I was always super excited and he served it over toast. Oh my goodness. So here at the Young's house, I make egg salad a lot and my family loves it just like I did as a kid. As I said, I don't want big, huge pieces of the egg white, so I'm gonna use my handy dandy masher that I like to use for, you know, like ground meats when I'm cooking them. Okay, so come on in and we'll mash it up a little bit. I hope y'all are having a great day today, and if you're not, hopefully I can brighten up your day with this amazing egg salad Jeannie Young style. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. How many of you grew up on egg salad like I did? Do you love it like I do? And are you excited to try this recipe, Gina Young style? Let me show you what the consistency of our eggs look like. Take a peek. That's what I want yours to look like. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do right away is let's go ahead and start off with our mayonnaise. I always like to tell people that there is a such thing as dressing your salads too much. If you put too much dressing in your salads, it's a turn off, right? Or you don't want it to be dry either. So I like to tell people, start off with a little bit, you can always add two. But in the beginning, if you put too much, it's hard to take away, right? So I've started off with just a tiny bit of mayonnaise. And then if I need to add to, I will. We're gonna put some mustard in. Now, uh, what my dad would do growing up is he would use one or the two. He would either use mustard or vinegar, and it'll give you that acidity taste that we're looking for. So today I'm gonna be using mustard, but I'm gonna add a really secret ingredient that gives us a umami flavor, make them say umami, where'd you get this recipe from? So we're gonna put two pinches of sugar. It's not to make it sweet, and I promise you, it doesn't make this recipe sweet, it makes it super delicious. And then we're gonna go in with some salt. If you can't use it, leave it out. Gorgeous. Then we're gonna put some black pepper in, we're gonna stir it, and then always, I always tell everybody, no matter what you are cooking, you taste your food so you know what you're feeding to your family and friends. I'm gonna stir this around and see what consistency I have. Look at the consistency. You don't want your egg salad to ever be watery. It should be nice and thick like that. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay, so I had it just kind of drip off of the thing so you could see just how thick it is, right? That's what we're looking for. And now you gotta taste it. You gotta know what you're feeding to your family and friends. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. I don't need salt and pepper. I don't need anything. How about when I come back, we're gonna get started chopping up some veggies so we can make a, a little sandwich. bit of this beautiful tomato. All right, just like so. When I have tomato on a sandwich, I will always, forever in a day, put salt and pepper on it to make it taste even better. This is a nice, beautiful, fresh tomato. And then I also don't wanna cut it super thick. 
a thick tomato on a sandwich is not good for me. I, I don't want a thick tomato on my sandwich. So if you're ever making a sandwich for me and it's got thick tomatoes, I'm just know I'm not happy. <laughs> All right, so now let's get our lettuce. I've already washed my lettuce off. I just want to pick the most beautiful leaves. Look at that. That's gonna be gorgeous on my sandwich. No matter what I'm making for family and friends, whether it's scrambled eggs or just a bologna and cheese sandwich, I want everything that I feed them to always look beautiful. Let's assemble our, sandwich. our sandwich. I have this gorgeous um, butter lettuce that is just beautiful. Gorgeous lettuce we have today. I will take that rib out there that's pretty hard. Anyway, I don't want my family biting down into that piece right there. Beautiful. And now we're going to take our egg salad. Just pile it on as much or as least as you like on your sandwich. So when I would have egg salad as a child, um, my dad, like I said, he would put it on toast and with no butter on the toast. And sometimes we would do it this way with lettuce and tomato. Oh, and now I make it for my family and they go nuts every time I make it. They're so grateful. And I don't mind making it because it's super simple, right? Sure it is. Okay, and so now we're going to find the most beautiful tomatoes. <sighs> oh, salt and pepper them things just like this. Mm, listen, if y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends, tell everyone you know what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Make you some. Father, we like to thank you today for this beautiful meal. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings and your blessings. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Once again, to my prayer, take a bite. Make you some.